I'm uh, Mike Scola from American Seasons on Nantucket. And I'm Matt Jennings from Farmstead in La Laiterie in Providence. Heritage breed animals are animals who have a cultural significance here in the U.S. being raised here many years ago and there's a major movement right now to uh, bring a lot of those breeds back because the culinary industry and the meat industry got to the point where we were breeding animals for leaner and leaner cuts, right? The idea was that pork is the new white meat or the other white meat. With the big movement in the 70s and 80s to cut back on the amount of fats that we were taking in as consumers, a lot of the pigs started to be bred to be leaner. Heritage animals tend to have better intermuscular marbling in their fat. They tend to have better fat back healthier fat. Those are all desirable traits for chefs, of course, right? Chefs, we, we love fat. So. Yes, fat is, <laughs> fat is flavor. <laughs> fat, say, yeah. Without it, it's hard to do a lot of things when you can't feed things. I mean, not just to make things fatty, but also as a tool for cooking or using it baking or things of that nature that we do. Fat is, is key, and you can definitely tell the difference between the good fat on an animal that was raised properly and the breed it comes from, from fat from an animal that was definitely industrial raised and not so happy. You can totally see an animal. Yeah, I think that Michael and I both share a similar ethos that the animal has paid the ultimate price for ending up on our table. And it's our jobs as cooks to be able to utilize that animal and every part of the animal. Nothing should go to waste. The head is great. That's both our favorites. It's endless in what you can do. Cut in half and roast it. You can make terrines out of it, cook it a long period of time. You can break it down into cheeks and jowls and some people can't even get it. Hawks love those too, the pig's feet are great. And then the belly too, people use the belly like crazy, but there's so much you can do with pork belly. Those are my favorite anyways. I think each part of the animal lends itself towards different cooking applications. So it depends on what we want that end product to be that's gonna drive you to select a certain cut. And it's kinda like choosing your favorite child. We're by no means the only people that are doing things like this. I would encourage people to seek out restaurants and food shops that have a progressive lean who are thinking about these types of issues and bringing opportunities to their customers like this. One of the things that's really great for us is just to be able to have that opportunity to educate people when they come out here and that's 90% of the battle.